Hey there, my friends. I have a good bedtime story for you, or a good anytime story, if your monster won't go to bed. And that is by Denise Vega and illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora. <laughs> if you have a monster that won't go to bed, don't bother asking your parents to help. They know a lot about putting kids to bed, but nothing about putting monsters to bed. It's not their fault. They're just not good at it. Read this book instead, but make sure you don't get too good at putting monsters to bed, or you might have a big problem on your hands. What color is your monster? <laughs> if Your Monster Won't Go to Bed by Denise Vega, illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora. Time for bed. Who hates those words more than anything? That's right, your monster. But we all know what happens when a monster doesn't get enough sleep. Massive monster tantrums, refusing to join the sneak up and scare your sister game, and falling asleep in his slug mush. Let's review a bedtime routine guaranteed to help any monster drift off into peaceful nightmare land, rested and ready to play toss the slime ball with the rest of the kids and monsters. Don't ask your parents to help you. They know a lot about putting kids to bed, but nothing about putting monsters to bed. It's not their fault. They're just not good at it. <laughs> Grrr. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Don't bring in your dog to cuddle. She'll bark and whine and chase your monster's tail, and your monster will growl and snarl and chase your dog's tail, which will lead to a monster meltdown. And who wants that? Besides other monsters, of course. Don't do the monster stomp. Your monster will wiggle his waggle and flick his fur and clench his claws. And the next thing you know, he'll be shaking his bristly bottom and you won't, and won't want to stop. And you'll be shaking your unbristly bottom so it will be a big bottom shaking, wiggle wiggling, fur flicking, claw clenching monster kid stomp. Which will last all night. Save the monster stomp for daytime fun. Don't have your monster count sheep. You know what will happen. And sheep aren't good for a monster's digestion. All that wool makes him gassy. <laughs> sheep says this is bad. It's a sheep sandwich. <laughs> or sheep burger. Don't give your monster a glass of milk. Monsters hate milk unless it's sour and green and it smells like dirty underwear. Burp. And if you give them sour, green, dirty underwear smelling milk, they'll stay up all night burping sour, green, dirty underwear smelling burps. And who wants that? Besides other you know what's. Honk, honk. Boom, 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 crash. I know that's lots of don'ts. So if your monster won't go to bed, what do you do? Step one, pour your monster a nice big glass of calming, crunchy, oozy bug juice slimed with ooey gooey snail trails. No monster can resist this, and maybe you can't either. Go ahead, take a sip. <laughs> I don't think I would. <laughs> Step two, Give your monster an ice-cold, shiver-inducing bath to relax him and make sure to scrub behind his ears with mud soap. <laughs> Look at all the bags of ice. <laughs> There's a mud, mud soap. Looks like our bathtub in the library. <laughs> yes, we have a bathtub in our library. Step three, brush your monster's fangs until they're at their smelly, rotten best. And don't forget to floss. <laughs> It's fang paste and monster floss. He seems to like that. <laughs> it's like hard work. Step four, help your monster find his favorite squishy, squashy, can't go to bed without it toy. 
put all the other monster toys in your parents' bed. They will appreciate your thoughtfulness. <laughs> I like the one-eyed spider. <laughs> monster thinks it's pretty funny. Step five, read the freakiest, creepiest, scariest story from your bookshelf, screaming where appropriate, and watch your monster's eyelids droop. If your monster asks for one more story, shout, no way, and get ready for... Step six. In the key of screech, sing, shock my monster, and listen to those gigantic monster snores, along with the snores of your family, and maybe even the whole block. <laughs> Congratulations, you've done it. Your monster has officially gone to bed. You are the master of monsters, the captain of creatures, the baron or baroness of boogeymen. You're so good, everyone in your neighborhood will start asking you to help them with their monsters. A monster drools a lot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like that dragon won't put on her pajamas, and that werewolf won't stop howling, and that zombie is annoying the whole family. I know a lot about monsters, but nothing about dragons or were werewolves or zombies. I'm out of here. <laughs> the end. That was If Your Monster Won't Go to Bed by Zachariah, I'm sorry, Denise Vega and illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora. Thanks for watching. If this is your bedtime story, good night, sweet dreams, and see you soon. Mwah.